ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Wednesday, a 323-page report that brought the performance-enhancing culture in Russian athletics to light is now the biggest doping scandal to rock the IAAF. Keeping a close eye on what is taking place is the president of our local association, Mike Sands. I think water is setting a very, very good example because at the end of the day, uh, the playing field has to be leveled. There can't be different rules for different persons. The investigation into the matter was launched by an independent commission which was appointed by the World Anti-Doping Agency who advised the world's governing body for the sport of track and field to suspend the Russian Federation. Life bans were also recommended by WADA for the gold and bronze medal winners from the women's 800 meters at the London Olympic Games. The two middle distance runners aren't the only ones under the microscope. It is being reported that five athletes, four coaches, and a doctor can face sanctions. President of the local association Mike Sands believes that there will be ripple effects, but doesn't know at what magnitude. Well, when you consider that uh, the allegations go back to at least 211 or thereabouts, and when you consider what would have happened between 211 and now, um, you would have to uh, believe that there would be some impact on, on records that were set, whether world records or otherwise, because I'm, I, I, I'm aware that one of the athletes uh, in question, I think is one of the Russian athletes, there's an allegation again that, I mean, of course she won the Olympic medal, and I think that was taken away. So I'm sure, and the reports I'm hearing is that it has far-reaching effects uh, beyond what FIFA was. Now, FIFA, I think they're speaking in terms of monetary, um, of course, the IWF does not that, that, type, that type of uh, money, but I think the, the fact that they can trace the allegations directly to the head, um, the, 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 the fallout can be very, very damning. The latest findings in the report are now having a domino effect on sports in Russia and their athletes. The country can now face suspension from competing on the international level, barred from hosting the World Junior Championships and the World Race Walk Team Championships, all set for next year. A verdict is expected to be handed down on Friday by the IAAF. Amidst the calls for the country to be suspended from the upcoming Olympic Games, Chief of the IOC Thomas Bach expects Russia to comply with the doping regulations before the start of the Rio Games. It is reported that more than 1,400 samples have been destroyed by officials. The Moscow Anti-Doping Center has lost its accreditation and has been suspended by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The scandal and the allegations are obviously very, very disappointing, um, particularly where it's, where it's placed at the doorstep at the highest level of the IWF, uh, persons who are entrusted to guard the sanctity and the integrity of the sport. And so that's very, very disappointing and very damning. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, the, the, the trips must fall where they may. Uh, and so we are watching it very, very closely. Uh, President Ko uh, has promised transparency and uh, they're giving uh, up-to-date reports on a daily basis as to the ongoing investigation. And so we're hoping that, you know, the, the, um, the facts will, will come out and um, let the chips fall where they may and then we can move on because, because at the end of the day, I, always, I have a favorite saying that I, say, that I like to say is that water always finds its own level and it's a very, very sad day and a challenging time in our sport. Spiking their way to the various crowns in the four divisions of the GSSSA Volleyball Championships were the HO Nash Lady Lions in the Junior Girls Division, the AF Adley Junior Boys, CI Gibson Senior Girls and CI Walker Senior Boys. Taking the call in this one is Jonathan Benson. The AF Adley Tigers Junior Boys going for a four-peat against the LW Young Golden Eagles. The Eagles put up a fight before losing a tight first set. And from there, the Tigers go on to close this one out in straight sets, winning the championship 26-24 and 25-20. We are very happy tonight. We are proud. I'm proud of my team. It's our fourth straight championship. And, you know, it was this one was even, this, this one is sweeter because we had to work harder. Not only that. This was my rebuilding year. I'm surprised what, what rebuilding can do. I think we played very well um, today. Um, we had all our strategies. I'm ready just to beat them and take the championship. The H.O. Nash Lions Junior Girls also a victory away from the championship and they didn't take any chances against the D.W. Davis Royals. The Lions win this one in straight sets 25-10, 25-16 to take the title. 
The C.I. Gibson Rattler senior girls on the verge of a championship and they came out and won the first set against the C.R. Walker Knights. The Knights much better in the second set. They won that to force a third and deciding set. But the Rattlers, they would come back and they complete the sweep winning 25-21, 20-25 and 15-10. We believe in our team and C.R. Walker's went too much. So we had to win that one. To prove people around New Providence yeah. that CI Gibson is not known for fighting, we are the champions. It feels great to know that we defeated one of the most difficult schools to defeat, but we did it. To teamwork. On to the senior boys now, C.R. Walker up against the C.C. Sweden Cobras. A competitive first set with the Knights winning 25-23. In the second set, this one also going down to the wire, but the Knights, they come away again with a 25-21 win. They win the championship, and Coach Trevor Grant gets the Gatorade bath. It's been long overdue, you know. Uh, I dedicate this one to my old man, because I don't even know if I'm planning on coming back to coach volleyball next year, because of the fact, all of the obstacles that we went through this year, not getting the support we deserve as a team, and we stuck together. As coaches and players, we stuck together straight to the end, and we came up victorious. I had to come up big. They depended on me. I used to make us on the corner of the block, head, do what I have to do to win the game. Three years we've been fighting for this. We finally get it. Our own. Our own. The night's one. It's time to bring it back. We bring it back. Oh! So the GSSA volleyball season, all history now. Next up on the schedule, basketball, which is slated to get underway next week. Jonathan Benson, ZNS Total Sports. Thanks so much, Jonathan. That will do it for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson.